need that. Welcome back. Well, it was five years ago today. Jim Flaherty had his near-death brush with taking down his own government. His fiscal update called for an end to tax subsidies for political parties. And that was the catalyst for a liberal NDP coalition, which almost took down the Harper government. But now the liberals are accused of stealing Jack Layton's lines. NDP are plotting election revenge against the liberals. And the fight for Quebec is becoming a two-party race. Is this the new political rivalry? Well, who better to discuss this but the MPs themselves? Stella Ambler is a conservative MP from Mississauga. Jenny Sims is the NDP MP from North Delta, B.C. Yvonne Jones is the Liberal MP from Labrador. Welcome to you all. Glad you could make it, Yvonne. That was close. Okay. Uh, let's get you two talking about this. Stella, Stella, you've had a rough go for a few weeks on the Senate stuff. It sounds like you've finally realized that the enemy, the real enemy, is you two fighting amongst the other liberals and, and NDP are fighting for the voters now. Do you sense uh, that you realize now finally the, uh, the person you have to take down is Justin Trudeau, uh, Jenny? No, the person we have to take down and the government we have to take down is Harper's Conservative government. Ouch. And that's where our leader, <laughs> Jack Layton, you know, because he realized the kind of damage the Conservatives could do into the future, he actually worked on a coalition. And despite the hard sort of... Um, push and pull he had on that, he stuck to that. And because he wanted Harper defeated. And you know, with Mr. Trudeau, we never really know quite where he sits. At one time he was for the coalition, then he was opposed to it. At one time he was for the merger, then he was opposed to it. So right now, we don't know where he is, except he's very fond of accusing others of behaviors that he is practicing, like attacks on other people. Now we're getting a rivalry going. Well, All right, Yvonne. Uh, well, I can certainly set the record straight on oh, where, on where on. he is. And uh, he has been very clear uh, as a leader of our party that we're not interested in a coalition with the NDP. Uh, the, the NDP uh, do not support the same visions that we have for the country. Absolutely I mean, when not. it comes to foreign <laughs> investment, when it comes to trade, when it comes to mining uh, development, the oil sands, these are all things we support as liberals. The NDP are against those things for Canadians and you know so we don't share that same view you know what I'm really the, wondering the other, if you've got the other, speaking notes the other <laughs> thing uh, the other thing that you need to uh, know is that the NDP party today under Montclair is not the party you've seen under Jack Layton we oh. just went through two by-elections where the NDP ran a fear campaign where they attack candidates on the ground okay, now our I have candidates to say in this something. election you know, this is and, uh, okay. and and that was the kind of average Advertising that they um, pra practice what very I really negative. Say, what advertising. I really want to say here is, let's really put the record straight. You know, who was it? Which party was taking down signs? Which party was putting out pictures and sort of the doing NDP all party. kinds of things? And which party had this war oh, going yeah. on? Look, there was an election going on. Mm -hmm. And when you take people on about issues, that's not negative campaigning. That's saying we have differences in issues. But listening to my colleague from here, I might as well be listening to Harper's speaking notes. Are they now conservatives? Have they moved so far to the right that they have forgotten their progressive roots? And you know something? I'm very oh, proud no, of Tom no, no, Mulcair. No. I'm very pr proud of Jack Layton's legacy. Proud of Tom Mulcair. It's the same caucus. We're working together as a caucus to make reality the legacy well, Jack left for us. And Stella. nobody can take that away. <laughs> Stella, I guess this is pure entertainment for you. Oh, yeah. oh, uh, Stella, your it turn so will come. But the cons I'm happy to see what's happening here because we're happy to govern and do the things the Canadians are looking for us to do and to provide direction and leadership on the economy, job creation. Just this morning, Thomas Mulcair said that he would raise uh, corporate business taxes, which is a recipe for massive job losses. Yes. And then we have the liberal leader who uh, admires the dictatorship of China because, you know, they can get things done without that pesky thing called you know, democracy. We're a country with a Just, growing uh, child poverty rate. We're a country that our OECD report said with a growing seniors population that is living in poverty. We're a country with a double digit youth unemployment. We're a country that is under the Harper Conservatives 
the going downhill. And you know what? I'm, you know, you yeah, can talk no. all the talking points you like, but you come yeah. out and talk one to my constituents. One point one million I, new jobs created oh. since the depth of the recession. But, oh, let me take out the violence. in the G7. You, you yeah. can't ignore the problems that Canadians face, and they're facing it at a time when the Conservatives under Harper is governing in the country. Nobody can ignore that. No matter what happens with the NDP and the Liberals on the ground, you know, Canadians are under the dictatorial approach of Stephen Harper's government. Okay. And as a result oh, of it, well, we no. are it, seeing it more poverty and we are seeing more seniors. I'm glad you brought that issue up because, you know, 65% of seniors in this country will actually die in poverty. Mm. And that's a sad, sad legacy of any country, well, in my opinion. Know, I and those if things Trudeau's can got change. Any ideas because uh, so absolutely, far, he's got he's great ideas. Is, is great great ideas. What we need is Great a progressive government that, that only the NDP can provide experience, okay. strong leadership, I, proven official opposition. I've, We're well, ready. I think I've proven it's a three-way rivalry. Let's just move along to one other thing that's not going to give Stella quite as much fun. Mm -hmm. uh, Senator Irving Gerstein. He's the conservative bag man. He takes pride in that label. He's, well, also, that he's also the chair <laughs> of the banking uh, committee. And under repeated inquiries from both leaders today, opposition leaders, Stephen Harper refused to say that he has confidence in this man who is implicated in the Mike Duffy deal. He was a negotiator. He went to the auditors and talked about trying to take that audit and calm it down. Bottom line here, Stella, why is that guy still in a position of confidence when clearly the RCMP believes there was some strange things going on. What, what the Prime Minister said very clearly today is that there are only two people under investigation it's here. True. Um, uh, Mike Duffy and Nigel Wright. And so I think the you know, the reason, uh, you know, they're, the uh, NDP and the Liberals are trying as hard as they can to pin jello to the wall and make just about everything stick and every day they try a slightly different uh, and new angle but um, it doesn't mean there's any new information it doesn't mean that the situation has changed it doesn't mean that the RCMP report didn't show uh, exactly that exactly this and that's that the uh, after reviewing 2600 emails that they, they found that there was no evidence to show but that, you know, Stella, that that the prime minister Stella, knew i'm just so um, disappointed that uh, you're just giving out this spiel today because look two people are under criminal investigation but you the web around those two is huge and you know when the Prime Minister, Nigel Wright says, got the go-ahead from the Prime Minister. All of these, and this is one of the key people in the Conservative Party. And the Prime Minister couldn't even mention his name today. He referred to him as that man, if I remember correctly. But what I'm saying is, why not just tell Canadians the truth? One thing I used to say when I was a teacher to the kids, just tell, it, tell me what really happened, and we'll deal with it from there. Please. Don't keep telling half-truths and little lies, because that gets you into big trouble. Hang on, still, I want to get Yvonne in well, on this. You know, the tangled web we weave when at first we try to deceive. Oh, oh, I can tell you that. that. I can tell you that. <laughs> you know, Senator Ernsting, uh, everyone would have thought that by now the Prime Minister would have let him go. Um, the RCMP reports were very clear. He did interfere in a process, a process that he had no reason and no right to interfere in. It's the pure ethics of Parliament, it's the pure ethics of governance, ethics. And, and therefore the Prime Minister should be the one person in this country that upholds that to the highest standard. But the this fact that, that Senator the, Ernstein uh, is still there tells me a whole lot is yet to be revealed with regard to this and, particular and issue leader, in the Prime Minister's when, office. When there was a, a Liberal Senator implicated who since resigned, Mac Harb, the, your, the response from your leader was to say, I, I would be willing to take him back. You, you know, know what? If, you if know he what? Was found, saying if saying he my was senator found is better than your no senator, or my scandal is not as good as yours, doesn't yeah. cut it with Canadians. Yes. Canadians Let, want to know we, the truth. That's right. And you know what? So it's time for a change facts. in government. And I think oh, the NDP offers years, the best Jenny. alternative. Yeah. But yeah. if you don't think there's any we role don't have for that ethics in government, corruption. just say, you know, we're not going to follow Senate any code Senate of ethics within our government. what we've been trying to do for a long time. And, and Come on, there are no ethics doing left it. when no, the no, current shenanigans go on. We are absolutely committed to no ethics. No ethics. Thank you all.